This is Williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina, home of the Gamecocks. Have a lot of fun building what I want to be the premier culture in all of college football. And he goes down, another sack for Carolina. He's back in the pocket. Here comes Carolina. They drop him on a sack. Well, the Gamecocks come from 14 down in the second quarter to tie it up at 14 at halftime behind Jason Brown's three touchdown throws in a stingy defense. They upset. Auburn for the second straight year, 21-17. Coach, congratulations. Uh, resilience comes to mind. A lot of things about this football team tonight, really, for this football team throughout the year. Yeah, it's kind of been the story. Uh, what a great group of kids, and just so happy for them. And, and you're right, it wasn't pretty early. We talked about it before the game. You know, it's going to be ugly at times. This is old school SEC football is what tonight was. Uh, but we just talked about just keep hanging in there and, and uh, Auburn will make some plays. We'll make some plays and and just get this thing to the fourth quarter and find a way to win. And and our guys did and just so proud of them and their resiliency and just so proud and thankful for our fans. I mean, the 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 environment in here tonight was electric and uh, uh, affected Auburn and certainly helped us. So we, we appreciate you. We we challenged our fans and, and they showed up tonight. We'll need them again next Saturday too. Boy, the Bryce, you're right. They were on every call, every play on inch, calling those things out. Uh, Coach, you get to six win of the season and become bowl eligible. And I'll tell you, very few people in this world thought this team would be bowl bound by any means. I hope that means a lot to your football team and particularly to those super seniors who've come back. Yeah, and that's who I'm so happy for. And I talked about it in the postgame press conference. Like those super seniors didn't have to come back. They've been through a long career here at Carolina. Uh, I got a new head coach coming in that didn't recruit them. And, and they came back and I met with them back in January and told them like, we're not on some two or three year rebuild. Like we're, we're gonna win now. You know, it's not fair to you guys for us to just build for the future. We're trying to win right now. And, and they've been fantastic and just so happy for those guys. Jabari Ellis and Jalen Foster and Spencer Reese and Riddle and Parker White and on and on and on. Just uh, for uh, their career to have had ups and downs, but to be able to go to a bowl their last year, have a chance to beat their in-state rival next week, it's uh, really fired up for those guys. Speaking of getting ready for that, on our Prisma Health Injury Report, I saw Cam Smith go out of the ball game, I think right before halftime, and did not return. Well, that resulted some, for some incredible plays by your secondary. But how is Cam doing? Yeah, he uh, hurt his knee. Um, you know, we'll have to evaluate tomorrow. He wasn't able to come back tonight. I uh, hate that for him. Marcellus Dial and Darius Rush stepped up and played great. Um, you know, Xavier Leggett got banged up uh, on Auburn's sideline late in the game. I think he's going to be okay. And, and uh, Gilbert Edmond was playing on some special teams for us tonight. He came out and, and missed the rest of the game. So those three guys, as we tape this, are the ones that we're concerned about. Well, we want them back for their sake, too, for the rivalry game next weekend. That's our Prisma Health injury report. The Gamecocks get their third SEC win of the season, beat Florida and Auburn in Shane Beamer's first year. And of course, get as many wins as we've gotten since 2018 campaign. And we still have one game to go. But we're going to look at the highlights at williams Bryce against Auburn when we come back on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer from Learfield. Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer, brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. At the University of South Carolina, we have what we need to win at every level. Second to none academics, facilities, fans. And having Prisma Health is the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Prisma Health orthopedics physicians are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they provide the same exceptional care for everyone across the region. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more, visit prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks. The holiday season has arrived, and so has the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your Ford dealer. Inventory is arriving daily, so it's the best time to get a Ford F-Series. With all this power and technology, it's no wonder Ford F-Series have been the best-selling trucks for 44 years straight. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford. This Black Friday, get a 2021 F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 retail bonus cash. Get holiday ready only at your Carolina Ford dealer.
hard to wrap. Easy to give. Check out the battery-powered AK Homeowner Series with sets starting at $199.99. Find something for everyone on your list. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Southern Way Catering is the official partner of South Carolina Athletics for special events in Williams-Brice Stadium. Book your next event with Southern Way and experience unparalleled hospitality. To tour one of our new premium spaces, call 803-783-1061 or visit the website at thesouthernway.com. Welcome back. A night game at williams Price is always nice, Coach. In November, a little cool, but perfect for football. And the fans, the cockpit in particular, all came out tonight for first half highlights at the Bryce. Yeah, it was awesome. Well, energy and pregame warm-ups was fantastic. What a crowd. We had some great recruits at the game, and, and they couldn't stop talking about it. You know, we knew we had to stop Bigsby coming into the game. They got a dominant running game, and, and uh, you know, he was going to get some yards. We needed to uh, do a great job of gang tackling and, and limiting what he was what he was able to do. You know, here's a third down play. And, and uh, they take a shot downfield. Great job of our guys throughout the night. We had a lot of one-on-one -on -one balls down there, and, and they made some really competitive plays. You know, third down, just disappointed, went three and out, and we didn't play well early on offense. And then we had some mistakes on defense too, unfortunately, and, and uh, didn't get off to a great start. But, but uh, here we lost leverage, you know, had a good coverage for the call and just got beat outside a little bit. Uh, they got a first and goal here on the 10 yard line and, and uh, play action, get a little flat ball. We're a little loose in the coverage and allow them to get seven. And they benefited from the short field as well, just six plays, 49 yards. Yep, exactly. You know, same play. We ran a couple times that tonight, that same play, a little slant to Josh, and, and uh, nice job by him on that second down play. You know, here the tight ends get banged up a little bit uh, on their release and uh, can't make that throw. Obviously, there's a free safety sitting in the middle of the field. Started at the line of scrimmage. You look both, you know, Jahima Bell, I think, was in there. and and uh, he got knocked off a little bit on the release and, and that messed up the play from the beginning. We got to be smarter about the football here. You know, give them field position, unfortunately. Knew we couldn't come into the tournament with the turnover battle. Uh, tough play right there. Looked like Burks was getting held a little bit there, but the guys escaped out of it. We get them on the ground. You know, third and one play right here. They run a little zone play inside, bounces back, and we got to be able to get him on the ground right there. But, you know, it's 14 nothing, and we haven't played well. Uh, you know, give Auburn credit, but we haven't played well. Nice job getting the ball started. Good to see DK in there making some plays tonight. You know, here we are on first and 10, a little bunch set, and uh, should have had a little outlet throw for JB. He's looking to throw the ball out there to the receiver and, and uh, didn't get that executed the way it should have. Uh, we got to get that better here. I mean, he's a big guy, he's six foot seven, and, and every bit of 240 plus pounds. We got to gain tackle uh, like we did right here. You see a lot of garnet jerseys around the ball, hitting the guy again. Jalen Foster in tight coverage down there. Get the ball back offensively and finally get things moving a little bit. Uh, nice play here by Josh, making some people miss and, and running after the catch for a first down, getting a little bunch set. And it's really the same play we ran against Missouri last week for a touchdown. We just uh, doctored it up a little bit with the formation, but great job by, J uh, by uh, Zaquandre. Getting into the end zone, uh, here we are. You know, big play or big finish here to the second half. Nice job, our defense. Second down, making the tackle. You know, fourth and one, they go for it. Uh, take a shot downfield. Great coverage. Uh, nowhere to go with the ball. And then big time, we're in the counter play right here. Great job by Jaheim, being physical. Uh, and then love this. I mean, golly, running the, moving the ball forward. Now we're second and goal. We've been running the same play with Trey Jones. We said, you know what? Let's get in there and let's throw it to him. And when we repped it in practice this week, there was nobody in his vicinity <laughs> and he was wide open. So we didn't think it was going to be quite the competitive catch, but what a play by him and, and happy for him as well. We don't, we don't just run the ball out of that formation. We run, we can throw it too. I, I'm not sure I can say this. I, I a couple things I didn't think were going to happen this year. Shane Beamer was going to get team bowl eligible in his first season, and Trey Jones was going to catch a touchdown yeah, pass. Exactly. Come on, at man. Where's your whole Price Stadium? <laughs> I know. I'm just saying. I didn't think it was. Coach Jason Brown going into half, by the way, after that interception, completed eight straight passes. He yeah. showed a lot of poise coming back in, and then he was good for you. Yeah, he did. He's gaining poise and confidence more and more he plays, and, and showing more and more leadership. And, and a lot of that. A lot of the mistakes we had in the first quarter were self-inflicted, whether it be turnovers or just negative yardage plays, and, and we can't have that. But Jason stayed calm, stayed steady, uh, knew what happened. That's the great thing about him. When, when a play goes wrong, like, he can tell you exactly what happened and, and learn from it, and, and uh, proud of him. Let's go back to, out to williams Price Stadium, tied at 14, a perfect night. 
at the Bryce. Yeah, get the ball first to start the second half, and, and you know, didn't love the way we started it. I think we ended up punting here. Nice job by, by uh, Zaquandre getting the ball, and then we get a third and two right here, and, and uh, just uh, wasn't quite executed the way we wanted. Missed the backside linebacker, I think. Uh, you know, we lose leverage right here a couple times, and, and we gave them some extra yards. I mean, credit to him, he's a great back, but we lost leverage on a couple plays and let that ball get outside, which can't happen. Nice job hitting the quarterback, and big play right there. You know, fourth and four, they got a new kicker that came in. Give him credit, he came in and, and made some nice kicks. Uh, you know, now we get the ball back offensively. Throw the ball out here to uh, Zaquandre, and, and great job making people miss. They lose leverage, 21 for them, and the corner right there. And big time play by Zaquandre. That was a uh, we like that play for man coverage and caught it in the zone, but still made something happen. You know, here on this one, we've been lining up in that bunch formation, running the ball, and tried to take a little shot and sneak one out. And, and just great job by Jason and Josh. Won quite the coverage we wanted, but those guys making a play. Really love this one. I mean, I knocked that, not that one. I'm sorry. I thought that was where we knocked the ball out, but give them a little bit. You know, first and 10, they run a little uh, counter tray. And, and again, missed tackles, too much of that. Like, we're in position to make the, pl make the play. We got to get them on the ground. Third and eight, we bring a little bit of pressure. Nice to see the pass rush get there and uh, and knock them back. You know, and this is disappointing. I mean, golly, we were fourth and 16, and good throw. I mean, we're we're in position. They just kind of they threw the ball exactly where it needed to be thrown versus that coverage. And uh, you know, here a run and just a what a stop by our defense. I mean, they got a chance to take the lead going into the fourth quarter. They're first and goal, if I'm not mistaken and we stop them. What, what a play, you know, and then nice job by Zaquandre uh, bouncing this thing. You see Josh Van blocking downfield. Really, uh, really like it, you know. Third and nine, same play we ran a couple times. I think we had exactly what we wanted. We got to make that throw, and uh, we took a sack, unfortunately, punted it back to him. Uh, again, good back. We got, we got to get him on the ground, and uh, you know, here we are, third and seven, a little bit of pass rush, and what a play right here by CP. I mean, that was big time. And now we get the ball back. We're trying to move the pocket a little bit. Uh, this is one as soon as he threw it, you kind of hold your breath a little bit. It seemed like it took forever to get caught, but we get it and thought about, uh, you know, uh, 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 going for it. We don't. We punt it down there the way our defense has been playing. We get it to third down right here. They run the screen. What a job by Brad Johnson being there, making the play. Uh, we get them off the field. Here's the one. Really thought hard about going for it on uh, on fourth down, and, and we didn't. Um, you know, punt it back to them, and, and or excuse me, the one with the series before we thought about going for it. They get the ball that hits them right here on this one, and then we're able to uh, take a knee. And, and what a celebration! You see the joy and the passion that our guys played with, and just so happy for our team, guys like JJ and, and all that. That was a pretty special. Uh, Pretty special moment post game. It's nice to see some garnet luck fall to us occasionally. I hate it for the Auburn players. The ball bounces and touches his knee. Carolina is able to run out the clock. They win it over the Tigers for the second straight year, 21 17. On a night like that, we got a lot of people who played very well. We'll talk about them and look ahead to the Clemson game when we come back on Gamecock football with Shane Beamer from Learfield. Join us every Thursday at Mac Street's Grill on Divine Street for Carolina calls from 7 to 8 p.m. Visit backstreetsgrill.com to learn more about their unique food and drink options. Fans, are you ready for some Gamecock football this fall? Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to win two tickets to the next football home game and a Gamecock visor autographed by Coach Beamer, courtesy of Farm Bureau Insurance. Everyone that registers will be entered for the chance to win the grand prize, a Gamecock-themed tailgate package. Register to win today at usccontest.com. Brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. And you ask me what I want this year Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days Cause everyone is forgetting now Cause tonight's the night the world begins again People think I have all the answers, but I think that's because my voice sounds like, well, like this. In reality, I'm full of questions. Who's the fastest jet ever? Who decided righty should be tidy? When did they start using forks? 
the Byzantine Empire. Really? And I'll never stop asking, because curiosity moves the world. Why do we call it a boom mic? When the unexpected happens to you, there's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Ford's lineup of adventurous SUVs and legendary tough trucks are built for the Carolinas and built Ford proud. Drive one, buy one at your Carolina Ford dealer today. We certainly are excited about the opportunity to be back home in williams Bryce Stadium. Got a big challenge uh, on our hands with a really good Auburn team. You know, I hope our fans can appreciate the, the passion that our players play with and the competitive spirit that they play with. It, Second and ten, a little blitz coming off the edge, over the middle, complete. Van is still on his feet and picks up the first down. Brown has a man wide open, out of the backfield, White. On the move, White, dynamite, touchdown, South Carolina. Down, Darius rushed, closed quickly on Shedrick Jackson. A little counter, nice move by White. Still going. The pack still moving inside the five. First and goal, Gamecocks. Out of the offset eye. Makes the catch and touchdown. And along came Jones, Trey Jones. Pulls it out of the RPO. Brown on the move into the end zone. Touchdown! Van is the man! And the Gamecocks take the lead. Blitz coming. Finley sacked. Back at the 36. He never got a chance. Brad Johnson, the first one to arrive. White breaks one off the right side. Got a nice block downfield. And he runs out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Finley on the out pattern, nicely batted away. Boy, great defense by Platel. Their sixth win of the season, and with it, bowl eligibility for first-year head coach Shane Beamer. Aaron Black from the swimming and diving team is this week's Food Lion Community Service Athlete of the Week. Aaron has helped at Palmetto Lifeline doing a variety of activities to help the animals there. Congratulations to Aaron Black, our Food Lion Community Service Athlete of the Week. Hard to wrap, easy to give. Check out the battery-powered AK Homeowner Series with sets starting at $199.99. Find something for everyone on your list. Find yours at steeldealers.com. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom-crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy-to-use technology into your space. And we offer the best-in-class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today.
At the University of South Carolina, we have what we need to win at every level. Second to none academics, facilities, fans. And having Prisma Health is the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Prisma Health orthopedics physicians are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they provide the same exceptional care for everyone across the region. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more, visit prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks. The holiday season has arrived, and so has the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your Ford dealer. Inventory is arriving daily, so it's the best time to get a Ford F-Series. With all this power and technology, it's no wonder Ford F-Series have been the best-selling trucks for 44 years straight. It's time to get holiday ready with Ford. This Black Friday, get a 2021 F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months plus 500 retail bonus cash. Get holiday ready only at your Carolina Ford dealer. Good hard work has earned Daniel Rodriguez the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the men's tennis team, Daniel is a psychology major with a 3.739 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Out of the offset eye. Makes the catch and touchdown! And along came Jones, Trey Jones. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Trey Jones, all 305 pounds of him out of the backfield into the flat. A three yard touchdown reception from Jason Brown. Coach, that tied the ball game at 14. I, I'm shocked they covered him that well, but what a great catch. Yeah, we thought he'd be a little bit more wide open when, than that when we called it, when we called it. But what a play by him, showed his athleticism. Coach Satterfield's been kidding with him and telling him for the last two weeks, Trey, if we call that, it's probably the most important play of the game when we call it. And uh, no pressure. And it ended up kind of being and great momentum going into the half. Yeah, tr changed the trajectory altogether for Carolina. And our Terminex Pest player of the game goes to Saquandre White. Coach, just under 100 yards, 99 yards on 13 rushes, three receptions for 69 yards, and that touchdown that got you the first seven points of the ball game. Z continues. You know, I saw the numbers this week, averaging 7.1 yards a carry uh, going into the ball game, and he just seemed to elevate his play again. Yeah, great things happen when the ball's in his hands, and it goes back to how he practices. He practices the way that he plays, and it's a great example for our young guys of the way you practice. It translates to the games as well. Well, the third Tiger team in a row, another one at williams Price is next week. We'll talk about the Clemson-Carolina game when we come back on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer from Learfield. If the Gamecocks record 350 yards or more on offense, go to the notifications on your game day app to learn how to receive a free made-from-scratch biscuit during breakfast hours at Columbia and Orangeburg participating Hardee's on Monday after the game. Try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you ask me what I want this year. Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days. Cause Unexpected happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay. I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first.
Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer. Brought to you by Britons of Columbia. Dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Well, Carolina gets bowl eligible the week before they play the Clemson Tigers. That kickoff is at 7.30. Coach, we've been playing this thing since 1908 until last season. It's nice to have it back on and, of course, be right here at the Bryce. Yeah, excited about being back in our stadium. What a great rivalry. I've been a part of a lot of them throughout college football at the different places I've coached, but none are better than this one. Uh, i got great respect for their program, and, and uh, you know, I, I know we need a rocking environment in here next Saturday. It was, it was rocking tonight, and it better be a, a level like it's never been before. Uh, next Saturday night and uh, excited for the matchup. Uh, we didn't get the Carolina Clemson didn't get to be played last year because of COVID. So I know their fans and our fans are excited about the opportunity to get out there and compete and should be a great matchup. Yeah, what might be in the back of their mind is that Carolina's five and one at home this season and Clemson struggled on the road so we can take advantage of that with a good crowd. Hey, don't forget Carolina calls with Coach Beamer will be Tuesday night this week. Call in, ask about the game make a uh, statement or ask a question about the great rivalry we have. Our Toyota keys to the game, Coach, have you seen much of the Tigers? What are your thoughts on them? I haven't had a chance to see them much. I watched a little bit of their game against Wake Forest in the hotel uh, before our game, and, and obviously they've got great talent. I know they've been uh, uh, hit, hit by the injury bug a little bit like we have, but Obviously, it's a uh, we got to affect the quarterback, you know, like we did tonight. And then uh, certainly offensively, we know we're facing a great front seven and a great defense in general with Clemson. So we've got to do a uh, sustained drives like we did tonight. That's our Toyota keys to the game. Toyota, let's go places. Big win tonight. Let's celebrate. Then we'll get ready for a little Thanksgiving and the Clemson Tigers there afterward. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you after the Clemson game on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer from Learfield. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Gamecock Sports Network. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of South Carolina. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of South Carolina and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the University of South Carolina.